Well, hi there, folks. Um, I finally decided what I'm going to try for my first cloning experiment. I have a beefsteak tomato here. I love beefsteak tomatoes. When I was a kid, my dad grew them, and I just loved them. And I haven't really had any as an adult. Been away from home from my parents for a long time. Um, I'm going to try and clone this for a few generations and see how well it produces and what happens. I know that this plant looks pretty bad right now. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, the stalk right here has uh, broken. It's not actually broken in two because I have some pretty good branches here. I don't know if you can see those or not. I have some pretty good branches there that are still, uh, that are still growing and still blooming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take um, the technique that Bobby at MHP Gardener uses. I think he got it from from somebody else online, from some other YouTuber who got it from somebody else, and it probably goes back 40 years, and I'm probably the 50th guy to do this. But uh, I'm basically going to take a plastic bottle and wrap it around this vine, uh, either one or both of these vines, uh, put some soil inside of it, and let these vines grow roots in that plastic bottle while they're still getting nourishment from the main plant. And then once the roots have established themselves, I'll cut this off and we'll plant those plants separately. Now, what I've done is I have taken a water bottle like this. This is a water bottle that hasn't been opened yet. Uh, I've taken one that my wife has finished with and I have damaged it a little bit. What I've done is cut the top off. I've cut the bottom off. I have slid it up the side so that I have a nice little uh, container here that I can wrap around this stalk. And then I'm going to tape it up so that it will hold soil. I'm going to fill it up with soil. I'm going to put a couple of cotton balls right here in the bottom so that I can hold the dirt in. And then I'm going to keep this watered for a week or two until the roots start to show. So with that said, let's uh, go forward and see what happens. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is decide where I want to put this, um, this bottle. Uh, this is a pretty healthy stalk right here. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do, i uh, got actually got some blooms. I don't know if you can see those. Got some blooms there, some blooms here, uh, some uh, blooms that had blossom drop on here. And I think I'm going to use this stalk right here. I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a bunch of hairs here that have already started, look like they've started to form some, uh, some uh, roots out of this stalk. Let me uh, zoom the camera in so you can see. You can see right along here where these hairs are. And uh, I'm going to use that as my first uh, cutting point. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off these uh, extraneous pieces that I'm not really interested in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my bottle around this stalk just above this root node. So let me get my cotton balls. Obviously I'm going to have to support this some way. So I'm going to uh, put my cotton balls down in here in such a way that they will actually hold the soil inside uh, this um, this plastic. <sighs> I have a, an old roll of duct tape. I don't know if you can see that. It's in pretty nasty shape, but uh, it's pretty good quality duct tape. It's just been laying in my hot garage for three or four years and. I'm just going to peel off a little strip of this. There it goes on the floor. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this down here and I'm going to use this to close up this plastic container. 
get this thing wrapped around there good. I don't really care if it's not watertight. Uh, what I'm interested in is um, making sure, what I'm interested in is making sure that uh, it will hold the dirt. So I'm going to put it down here where I want it to be. And I'm going to stuff these cotton balls down where I want them to be so that uh, they will keep the soil in. Now, one thing that I'm going to do that some of these other folks did not do, <clears throat> I am going to actually spray uh, this root and get it wet. Well, I think I'm going to spray it and get it wet. Okay, there we go. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this stalk and get it good and wet before I put the, uh, before I put the soil in. And I'm kind of propping it on this, uh, on this uh, uh, tomato cage from this other Rutgers tomato that's about seen its better days. And uh, here I have some potting soil that's left over from uh, some of our other uh, gardening activities. And uh, I'm going to crumble it up good and put it right down in here. Making sure that I get that uh, soil uh, completely around the stem of this tomato. I don't want it all on one side. I want it all around the stem of this tomato. And I want to pack it down pretty good. And then I want to wet it. Down some more, make sure I've got it down fairly firmly around this plant. I'm going to sit that right there. I'm going to get my roll of duct tape. I want to keep this plant kind of upright while it's growing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap duct tape around this um, basket, this uh, tomato cage, and up both sides of the bottle so that I can get that plant to stand upright. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood it with water the first time until water comes out the bottom. And uh, we'll just keep pouring water in there. I want to get that soil good and wet. So I'm going to have to do a better job of holding this thing in place. And you can see the water is dripping out the bottom of this, but the soil is staying in it. So I'm just going to keep this thing wet. Now, what's going to happen uh, is that over the next week or two, as I keep this wet, the roots are going to develop on this stem. While this plant is still getting nourishment, this part of the, the new plant is getting nourishment from the original plant. And hopefully we'll be able to see this grow rather than just cutting this off, sticking it in the ground and having all the energy go to make roots while there's no other energy to support the plant and typically this will wilt and just looks awful. Uh, so this way I will actually have the plant uh, getting nourishment, this part of my new plant getting nourishment from the original plant while I am rooting this. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on this stalk as well. I'm going to uh, put, uh, get another bottle and uh, do uh, the same thing over here so that I'll have two of these uh, beefsteak tomatoes that hopefully I can get some tomatoes off of this fall. Okay, now um, I have, uh, with the camera off, I've gone back and finished what I had planned to do here. <clears throat> you can see that I've got this uh, stake in the ground here to hold these things vertical. It's tied to this uh, tomato cage to keep it vertical. And I've got both of these um, uh, limbs uh, in plastic pots with water. 
and I've got the tomato uh, that I'm growing tied up so that they will go towards the sun. As you can see, this tomato plant has been uh, bent, trying, I mean, it's been leaned over, kind of like this one. This one is going over and then coming back up. So uh, this is going to have to go towards the sun over the next three or four days, and uh, I'm tying it up a little bit straighter so that it will do that. This is uh, some cotton butcher's twine. It's very soft, and uh, as the wind blows this, it won't damage this uh, stalk too much. But I've got uh, two beefsteak tomatoes here that I hope that I'm going to clone and be successful with. And uh, we'll just come back and see how this thing goes. Uh, as you can see, they're sitting outside. Uh, we're going to have to water these every morning and every afternoon because we have 90 degree days here in Atlanta. And uh, this little pot of water is not going not to last very long. Uh, if it dries out a little bit, that's fine. But we can't let it dry out for more than just a couple of hours. It's, it's got to get uh, water in the morning and in the evening. This is kind of a little bit of a close-up view so you can see what's going on here. Take this all the way around so you can see the back side as well. And here you can see the uh, stem that's going over to the uh, master plant which is in the bucket. And you can see uh, exactly how damaged that stalk is right there. Uh, it's uh, almost split in two. But it's still getting nourishment uh, through this stem all the way out to, to these two branches that uh, are going to wind up being my future uh, beefsteak uh, plants. We'll see what happens and I'll be back to you in about a week.